Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these beautiful elegant rondelle earrings with seed beads. If you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done like I have a bracelet matching these earrings and I'm linking it here at the eye icon. You could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you are invited to share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips and remember that now I have chapters on my videos so you could skip the intro if it's too much to watch it every time and go directly to the list of the materials or to the work itself. So now guys, we're going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are two colors of 11 seed beads. Here I use faceted crystals, also called rondelles. They are four by six millimeters. These are earring findings in silver color. This is monofilament that is 0.2 millimeters thick, which is size D. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers that are not obligatory but I use them to go through the difficult beads. These 10 millimeter beads are also not obligatory but I like how it works with them. You could totally skip them or you could put pearls or other beads you like. It's up to you. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and as I start my work, I pick up 16 of these beautiful silver beads. Okay guys, and here I double check and I have 16 beads. Okay, now I'm going to slide those down almost until the end of my thread, okay, like this. And here I'm going to make a knot. And I'm making it by taking my tail thread and I'm going once and then I'm going second time through this loop I've made and pull really gently and slowly, making sure your knot is between those two beads where you started it from. And now I want to make just one more knot just to be sure it's all tight and secure. Okay, now I have this. Okay, and now guys, as I'm here, I'm going to start my work. I'm picking up three red beads and I'm going back in circle through the same bead that I'm exiting out of. You see my thread is exiting out of here and I'm going through the same bead. And you see here I have a loop between my beads. Okay, then I'm going through the next two beads and I'm going to pick up five of these beautiful silver beads okay and I have my five here and then I go back in circle through this one and then I go through the following two beads then I take three I go back through this one and if you can in one movement go also through the next two beads. So go through three beads in total. Then I'm going again pick up five. Okay, I have my five. And I go back the same way. Then again I need three. And I'm going to repeat this until the end of this row. Okay. 
Okay, guys, and now my row is ready and I'm going to start my next row. And in order to do this, I'm going through the following silver and then through this red one. Okay. And as I'm exiting out of this red bead, you see, I'm taking one silver and going through the following silver, uh, red, sorry. Then I take one more silver and I'm going through this red and then through the silver. Okay. Then I go in this direction through these two silvers. I'm next to the bead that's sticking out the most. And here what I need is one red bead and I'm going through this silver. Again one red and go here. And then also through the next red. Okay and again a silver and where I have red I add silvers. Where I have silvers I add red. Okay, and I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay, and uh, now what I want to do is go in this direction and exit out of this silver bead here. And I'm going to pick up three silvers and I'm going here just like this. Then what I do is take just one red and go in the following red. And then I'm going to pick up three red beads. Go here. And then I take one red and go in the silver. Then again, when I'm exiting out of silver, I need three silver beads. And when I'm going in red, I'm taking first one red. And after that, I'm adding red beads. Then again, a red one go in this silver, three silvers, go in the silver, a red, go in the red, then three reds, and I will continue this until the end of this row. And pay attention in your last step where you're going here through the first silver. Don't go do the mistake to go through the second silver. Okay, and now what I want to do is put the bead in the middle, which will be a rondelle. Okay, so in order to do this, I'm going here in the center of my work. 
and I want to exit out of this silver that is just next to these three beads. I go here. Now, what I want to do is take one rondelle, okay, like this, and go in the, just the opposite bead that is under these three red beads, and go in the same direction where your thread is pointing to. Okay, and I pull and I fix this one in the center. Then as I'm exiting through here, I go one more time through this hole and then through this silver but from the other direction. Okay, and now I'm going to make some additional reinforcement going around here to make it stay nice and tight and I'll be back. Okay guys, and off camera I went around several times here and you see how tight and nice it sits now. And uh, I cut also my tail thread not to be on my way all the time. And now I want to go in this direction and exit here through this red bead. Okay. Now I want to flip my work in this direction because it's easier for me to go like this. It's not obligatory. And in this row, I'm going to pick up three silvers. As I'm exiting out of a red, I take three silvers and then I take three red beads and then I go in silver. Then again, I'm, now I'm exiting out of silver. That is why I'm going to pick up three reds and then three silvers. Okay. And I go through the middle bead here, the one that's sticking out the most. Then I'm exiting out the thread. This means I need to pick up silvers. And then I need to pick up reds. Okay, this is what I have now. And I go here through this silver. And as I'm exiting out of silver, you know I'm picking up red beads. And then I'm picking up silver beads because I'm going here into red. Then again, I need to pick silvers, then red beads, okay, and I need to go here and I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and now I finish this row and what I'm going to do next is go here at the edge, go through this silver, but after that go through the red as well. And here where two red rows meet, I will pick up three silvers and I will go back here through this one. And then in this direction. Okay, and here where two silver rows meet, I will pick up three reds. So I'm alternating the colors. Where I have silver, I put red. Where I have red, I put silver. Okay. Now I will continue to the next rows that meet and these are red rows and I'm going to pick up three silvers and I go here. Okay guys and I will continue this off camera red silver red silver red and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next.
okay and I'm here at my last row where I'm adding my last three beads and what I want to do next oops it's not the last here I have one more one more loop of beads to add and this time it is with red beads okay I'm picking up three red beads and I'm going back here okay now I have this and after my last red beads added what I need to do is go in this direction and again I will be alternating red over silver skip the middle and go through the following then I go here and here in the first thread of my last row and I'm going to pick up three silver beads and go here in the red one okay then what I do next is that I want to exit out of this silver here the first silver and I want to pick up three red beads skip the one in the middle and go through the following okay then what I do next is that I want to exit in my next three reds that I added in my last row through first of them I mean and I need three silver beads skip the one in the center and go through the following okay and now guys what I'm going to do is red silvers red silvers and when I'm up to here I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last three red silvers and what I want to do is go in this direction and exit here at this place now I'm going to pick up this earring finding and I'm taking one silver my earring finding and then one more silver and I'm going back in circle here to this one okay and I want to reinforce this joint here okay and go three or more times through this joint and now it's time to go to the other part of your bracelet of your earring i will go around the edges and i will exit here and i'll be back okay and i'm going around the edge going around and I want to exit here by the way you could make a knot and stop your earring up to here it's really beautiful even like this but now I'm going to show you how to attach this beautiful bead to your work okay I have my four beads here and I'm taking my bead and I'm going through it and sliding it down now I'm going to pick up three red beads and I'm also sliding those down then I skip them I don't go through them but I go through this bead here okay now I have this 
and what I want to do is go through these three silver beads in this direction okay and I need one silver and go here through this red one just like this okay then I go in this direction and by the way if you want you could go one more time around this bead here but I want to do this because I want it to dangle it's up to you and now guys I'm going to show you how to make a knot and cut your thread okay and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and I'm going once and I'm going second time through the loop I've made and I pull then I go through some beads and I could repeat this knot several more times but when I'm ready I go through the following seed bead and I cut my thread and now my elegant earring is ready okay guys and now my elegant rondelle earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't and in this way you will know when i make matching jewelry to the ones that i have already done like the bracelet that i linked to here at the eye icon that matches these earrings and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself down there in description you will find the full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials you could share them on my facebook or instagram pages i will be so happy to see your creations Thank you for commenting, liking and sharing my videos. You don't know how much you help me only with this action. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.